Tamani Kamara has got the headset on. He's over at the sideline. Tamani, can you hear us over there? Yes, sir, I can. Well, great to talk with you. How are you feeling, first and foremost? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, it's been a it's been a crazy two weeks, but um, yeah, man, it's, it was not the way I wanted to end my season, but um, things happen, man. It's it's, it's not it's not as bad as it sounds. That's all I can say right now. But it's, yeah. it's been feeling good. It's okay. Been good. Yeah. What you hear about a lacerated kidney, you get yeah. a little concerned. So I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. That's first and foremost. Now let's talk about the award. How much do you know about Maurice Lucas? Have you seen tapes of him? Have you seen tapes of the old Blazer team that won the championship in '77 with? With I mean, for Walton sure, and those guys. For sure, for sure, I've, I've for sure, I for sure heard about it. Um, heard about him, and uh, I got a lot of respect for what he's been doing for this, for this team and for this organization. And uh, it's an honor to be able to, uh, be represented by this by this um award. So yeah, it's it's just it's just amazing, especially as a rookie. I didn't expect that to happen for me. So just very grateful for the opportunity and uh, uh people uh, giving me that award. It's been an interesting year for you. I mean, you came in here. We didn't know a lot about you. Uh, obviously, a rookie coming from Dayton, Belgian player, uh, coming over in that trade. Well, go back, if you can, a little bit. Your, your first moments when you're in Santa Barbara at training camp. Well, what was on your mind about being a Blazer and starting off your professional career? I had to start from scratch. Uh, I spent a month with uh, Phoenix uh, where I felt like I was able to to show what I can do and improve myself in certain areas, and uh, when I got traded, it was just it was just another opportunity, another chance for me to be able to show what I can do and show that I, that I can play in this league. And uh, I think they, they everybody embraced me uh, perfectly. I mean, I don't have any complaint. It was just trying to figure this league out. You know, it's a lot at once, especially as a rookie. So I just had to earn my respect, and uh, yeah, that was probably the, my first feelings at that time. Well, to you certainly earned your respect from everybody, and. I, I want to know from you because when you went out you were playing your best offensive basketball of the season but from the start of the season when Kevin and I would watch you play you know we could see early on like wait that dude can shoot hold on he could dribble he can do a bunch of things that maybe the box score isn't telling us and, and, and scoop your rookie counterpart kind of that's my guy right one. here I, well, two, we'll come back to the question in a second. Yes, sir. How do you feel when you see Scoop make that kind of play? Man, that's what he does, man. Yeah. That's what I want him to do every time. He's so strong, so fast. Yeah. Uh, I think I think the game can be so simple for him, but he's, he's so young and still learning a lot of things. And I think the sky's the limit for him. Man. I'm, I'm super excited to have him on my team, on my side. Well, it sounds like you're describing yourself because that's how we feel about you as well. And as you get the Maurice Lucas Award tonight, it reminds me, I actually had the chance to play with Maurice's son, David Lucas in college, and he started off as a walk-on at Oregon State, and a lot of people didn't know how good he was, and we would see him in practices make moves, shoot certain shots, where it's like, this dude could be an all-conference player. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, he got the opportunity to show all that stuff later on, and everything came to fruition. Do you see a similar path for you where it's a deal where everybody doesn't know Tumani Kamara on day one, but as time goes on, not only will you know him, but you will truly see everything that he can do do you see that coming up in your career pretty soon here for sure i mean i think everybody got their own path you know yeah uh, a lot of people get get to 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 be at the top or they find this at a very young age or just understand the game differently at a certain age so i think everybody got their own speed of things and understanding things and uh and i i needed to do four years in college that's what i needed to do for my development for me to get better and i think everything happens for a reason also you know so i'm just trusting the process stay who i am and yeah, I'm just excited for what's what's got to be in the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Tamani, you know how tough our job is now. You try to have a conversation while watching the game <laughs> and try to focus on what's going on. <laughs> but here's Scoot now. He and, and DeAndre Ayton have really come up with some nice chemistry, these two. And Ayton has just been on fire. Mm -hmm. He's been really something to watch. What, what kind of guy is he ar around uh, every day? One of, one of a kind, man. One of, the, <laughs> one of the realest person I've ever met. Um, just got so much respect for him for what, he, what he's been through, uh, everything that he's been working for, and, and how it's been, it's been going for him. So yeah, it's, it's an honor to be able to play with him and, and get to know him and stuff like that. Keep working, boy. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, thanks for joining us, too. Appreciate yes, thank it. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Go join your teammates there in the huddle.